one of the things that I've been diving into this week as we wrap up this month is setting my quarterly goals for Q4. And I wanted to explore this topic of why. Why should you set quarterly goals? And what are the benefits? Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I'm Parker Imerell, and this is The Conversation Station. So, it, it is interesting, right? Because I, I almost want you to think of it as, you know, New Year's aspirations or whatever the heck they're called. Revelations, I don't know. Um, equations. Um, but thinking of it as you need, when, when the new year comes, you set your long-term goal. And I think it's interesting that, that is the time that we set our new long-term goals. You can set a long-term goal at any point. If you decide on what your long-term goal is in June, set the goal. Don't wait till January. But we can set these long-term goals, but it's hard to keep a reality on the hard work it's going to take to achieve them. Right, and that's why we. That's why it's important to reevaluate. And so, you know, you can set what your goal is for the year, whether it be your revenue goal or whatever. And I like to break it down into three different categories, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But you have to have a set. You you have your set of goals early on in the year, your yearly goals. But you have to break it down further, right? So you have to break down that big goal into the quarterly goal, into the monthly goal, into the weekly goal, and into the daily goal. So that you can know that what you're doing is a net positive to where you want to go. And I, I believe I've done other episodes where we explore this topic of figuring out what you want to do. And yeah, I believe there is an episode, and if you look on YouTube... It'll be easier to find. It just says purpose on the thumbnail. Um, at least I believe so. I believe that I did that episode. I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. But the entire point is you need to do these quarterly goals so that you have a better idea of whether what you're doing is still in line with what you want to do. And you need to reevaluate your goals, right? So you need to be working to achieve those goals, but you also need to be self-evaluating. Evaluating if something you've done in the last period of time has changed your vision, your vision for your goals. It is okay to adapt, but you need to make sure that you are checking in with yourself. And that's why I think it's great to have quarterly goals. Because each quarter inherently, because the quarters sort of align with the seasons, it's a different time. It's a different time of the year and it's, it's a different time of life. And so we have to be aware that these, th that these are different times and we're going to be in different places. And that's why it's important because when we set a year-long goal and we don't reevaluate, it, it's really easy to fall flat. And the great thing is each quarter you shouldn't only set the goal. It is time to reevaluate your last quarter and your next quarter. So look at what went well. What went well? Okay, in the last quarter, let's say my let's say my yearly goal is to, I don't know, get a get to a certain level of fitness. That's one of my goals. Well, let's evaluate that one. Okay. Well, in the last quarter, I worked out X amount of days out of X amount that was the goal, or X amount that I wanted to, and I didn't. And, and, and so I fell short. Okay, what actions need to be taken so that that doesn't happen, right? What do I need to change? What in my life needs to change so that everything else can get better? That's what you have to answer every single quarter. And then that quarterly clarity gives you a reevaluation every single month. And then every single week and every single day, you can do some sort of an evaluation process of your goals, and I don't have that down perfectly, so I'm not going to give you some system because I don't have some system. But experiment with that idea because it is so important that we set our goals, that we stick to them, right? And again, things will shift. 
Things are always going to shift and change. There isn't a world where everything in your life will always be the same. That is delusional. We can set goals, but life is going to throw things in the road. And sometimes our focus is going to have to shift. But we need to make sure that we put that down. When our goals shift, you need to start focusing on the shifted goal so that you feel a sense of achievement when you achieve that as opposed to focusing on the goal that you currently need to leave on the wayside. You have to focus on that goal. The goal this month for me, the number one priority, has been 30 episodes in 30 days. Now, other aspects of entrepreneurship, of these other things, have taken a hit. But the primary goal is to do 30 episodes in 30 days. So when I get done, there will be a sense of achievement. But right now, this week, I'm evaluating what processes need to change. Where do I need to improve so that next month I can be an even better version of myself? That's what we need to do every month and every quarter. But it's all part, it's all part of this self-awareness game. I call it a game because everything in life is a game. So it's a part of this self-awareness game where we tell ourselves, right? It, it, it's, it's part of the game where we tell ourselves who we are and evaluating who that person is and if we actually are, who we tell the world we are and who we tell ourselves we are. And that's why this quarterly reevaluation is important because it should serve as an anchor in your life in that sometimes you're not going to be able to evaluate on the daily. That's, there are going to be days where that doesn't happen. There are going to be weeks where it doesn't happen and sometimes months. But that's why it's important to make sure that you have this because you can do all those short-term ones. Those are valuable. But it's also important to look at that big picture. Evaluate the last quarter and keep doing that every single quarter. Keep setting your goals. But also, achieve those fucking goals. Achieve them. Put in extra work. Do what's required. I have set quarterly goal after quarterly goal that I haven't hit. But... I am committed to hitting the, the quarterly goal this time. And the biggest thing for me, right, that I've learned is make your goals public. Because then you have the accountability to the world. And so, on October 1st, all of my quarterly goals will be going public on every single social media channel I have. I will tell the world my goals. And if you're comfortable with it, tell the world your goals. Because when you, you tell the world, it is the greatest form of accountability because most of the accountability occurs internally. Understand that most of the world doesn't care, but you care about what the world thinks. So leverage that into action. Our egos that create the the industry of social media. Social media is a, an industry that preys off of our ego, but we can use that negative of, a, of an ego that, that wants everyone to think highly of us, and we can leverage that into the biggest positive because then we're accountable to ourselves. We're accountable to our own sense of pride. And there's a difference between when it's public because there, we all have a fear, or at least I have a fear, and I know many other people do, of public embarrassment in many ways. And think about it this way. The public embarrassment isn't going to be that bad with something like this, but it sets a level of accountability that is harder to achieve on your own. And so the entire point is leverage that negative into your positive. And... I, I think it's interesting, though, because we, we can often struggle to achieve these goals because they feel lofty. They feel like something we've never, never done before. But in order to achieve something you've never achieved before, you have to change your life to live a life you've never lived before. And so in the last 30 days, I have changed the way I lived my life. I'm, I wasn't used to sitting down and recording every single day. But now... It has become 
what I have to do, what I will do, who I am. Recording these episodes has become a fundamental element of who Parker Imrel is. And so that's why I say make these public. I wouldn't have done 30 episodes in 30 days if I hadn't told you guys I was going to do 30 episodes in 30 days because there wouldn't be a level of accountability. Man, it was insane. It was insane. I decided on a whim. I wasn't prepared to start. I was not prepared in any way, shape, or form. But I figured it out. I figured it out because I knew I needed to in order to succeed. I figured it out because there wasn't another option. Because I committed to people I respected and to the world. So make your goals public in any way you can, in the ways you feel comfortable with, and even in the ways you don't. Push yourself out of your comfort zone, especially with your goals. Set a lofty goal you don't believe you can achieve and get people to hold you accountable. Because when you achieve that goal, it is the greatest feeling on earth. And it's going to get you so amped to set that next goal, to grow, to become better. And when you are in that cycle of constant betterment of yourself, man, that is a gift. That is one of the greatest gifts we can be given is when we are in that state where we are excited about life. And another thing, remind yourself of your goal every single day. Your goals. Write down your goals and set it as your phone background. Put it above your bed so that when you wake up, you see your goals. Put it on your door. Put it as your computer screen. Put it everywhere so that, is, so that your goals are inescapable. Because if we can be aware of our goals, we will be far more aware of where we are failing in our goals. And that will help us keep this level of accountability because when we aren't achieving our goals, something we often do is disassociate. We forget about the goals. Our subconscious chooses to forget because it doesn't like being uncomfortable. And not achieving your goals is inherently uncomfortable. So make sure that you remind yourself of that goal every single day. I mean, you could even, again, there are so many options here, but remind yourself every single day. Put it somewhere you can't escape it. Put it everywhere so there's nowhere to hide. And keep yourself accountable and keep working hard. And push yourself to that next level of you that you don't believe you can achieve. But find others who maybe they don't believe it, but they believe in your ability to put in the work. And they will be there to support you and hold you accountable. Find those people. It can be parents, it can be peers, it can be colleagues. It doesn't matter who. Find someone to hold you accountable to your goals. Update them as much as possible, but more so than that, update yourself. Be honest with yourself. Am I failing right now? Am I failing at my goal? Did I fail? You know, am I on that path towards achieving my goal? And if I'm not at the current moment, what do I need to do today to get back on that path? That, my friends, that, my friends, is what we need to keep in mind. And that, my friends, is how we become better. Thank you guys at home for watching. I'm Parker Emerald. I've been talking to you. And this has been The Conversation Station. Conversation.